Let's say we're asked to factor 5xy minus 8x minus 10y plus 16 by grouping. We start by combining the first two terms into the first group and the last two terms into the second group, and we look for the GCF of each group. So from the first two terms, we see that there's an x in common to both terms, but no numbers and no other variables can be factored out of both. So we factor out the x as the GCF, we divide the 5xy by x to get 5x, I'm sorry, we divide the 5xy by x and get 5y, which goes inside the parentheses, and then when we divide the negative 8x by x, we get negative 8. From the last two terms, we can factor out a 2, which goes evenly into 10 and 16. Doing so, we can divide both negative 10y and 16 by 2 and get negative 5y and positive 8. However, here we run into the same problem as we did with the previous example, which is that these binomials, 5y minus 8 and negative 5y plus 8, don't match. However, like the previous example, we're always off by a sign. The 5y is positive here, and it's negative here, and the 8 is negative, and the 8 is positive here. An easy solution to this is to factor out a negative 2 instead of a positive 2 in order to make these binomials match. So if we were to do that, if we were to factor out a negative 2, we would divide the same two terms by the new GCF. Negative 10y divided by negative 2 would give us positive 5y, and then 16 divided by negative 2 would give us negative 8. Now that the binomials match, we can factor out the 5y minus 8 because it is the greatest common factor to this first term and to the second term. And when we divide the individual terms by 5y minus 8, our GCF, we're left behind with an x from the first term and a negative 2 from the second.